Ladies and gentlemen, there is light on the hill of knowledge that shines bright to illuminate the path of progress. The story theater of academic excellence of the royals of Ahantman, dancing for the ladies of all. Signal to the qualified schools. In fact, wait and watch because we are coming with four them. No bagger wire. Hey, hey. So, Takrade people, how are you all doing? Hello, beautiful people of Ghana and beyond. How are you all doing? Uh, so, I'm back again with another video. I hope that you guys are happy for me. You see this thing when I put my leg inside? I have buy markets. I have buy markets and there is no stopping. If I stop now, I go collect beating for this Ghana. I know Ghanaians are gentle, but they go beat me. They go beat me because myself, I don't feel like stopping anyways. Today, we are going to Takra de Ghana to check out this royal highness of girls. These girls, eh, they are, when they look at you, your eyeball, you be like, eh, damn. So we are going to take a look at the Ahanta man. So today's spotlight is on Ahanta man girls senior high. These girls are, these girls, their eyes, when they look at you, you'll be confused. They can intimidate you. I actually filmed this video before to suit a video that I wanted to, a video of theirs that I saw. But when it wasn't okay for me to use the video, I had to like redo this again. So let's go check them out as I will be back. Let's go. And today we are touring a Hantam and Girls Senior High School. The school is located at Sekondi in the western region of Ghana and was established in 1948 by a business inclined educationist called Mr. Emmanuel Kwesi. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to 
is the is the confidence in the kids for me is the confidence in these kids for me these girls are very very confident i'm talking about real confidence and that can only be from self-awareness when you are fully aware of who you are you won't struggle <laughs> Know who you are when you say something you know what you are saying and you know you are saying nothing but facts and it makes sense to a sensible person that is confident these girls have it and of course as we have always done eh, 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 they are old girls let's go check the school aluminites so i'm curious to know what the aluminites look like what are they like okay for me i like to see the eskers so let's go check them out and i will be back let's go our school our school was formerly a college our school was formerly a college georgia school but due transformation our school is now secondary school the school was established by mr hayden by 1948 move to ayukofi the plateau where the school is now we are glad i'm proud we are proud that we are product of our own mother oh fantastic school where is kaboche kaboche is a second new school our school is calling As part of the activities, we slated today for Heritage Day. And Heritage Day, what we mean is going traditional, representing our culture, uh, because they want to be part of the of the preservers of our culture. And so it's a small way of portraying our culture, the values of our culture, and to also let the students understand that they have the responsibility of showcasing their culture and feeling proud of it. Our school is on an hinterland, and we are royals. So we want to dress like people who are from the palace. Okay. So being at the Heritage Day, we need to put on all kinds of kinds of uh, dresses that shows that we are Africans. That's why we are here in this beautiful latter. It's been very, 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 very how do I even put it? I, I can't put it into, into words. See all the girls dressed like that. I saw another like one girl dressed like an old man. Oh, that was uh, very, very impressive. The Western Rotary Red for Canada looks beautiful. He is also an old student. Yeah. I just don't know what to say. Good morning, headmistress, um, school management, teaching and non-teaching staff, and student. My greetings to you all. I am here this morning as a product of a Hunterman Girl Senior High. I, I completed 2015 and I was in the visual arts class. They do not disappoint as always coming back to give back and that is what inspired this series to continue i love humanity like because i can't afford to give to other people like i wish there is a way they can get so when i see it i love it and i like to talk about it i like to show i like to praise i like to worship that yes i worship kindness at this point if you didn't school in ghana expect to be lonely so now i get why Ghanaians keep sending their kids back home to school here make relationships majority of these kids you see in public schools in ghana some of them their parents are not even here their parents are in faraway countries but because the country is peaceful and okay 
to send a child conducive for your child and, and the public schools are good parents are not afraid to send their kids back home to school here and this is what i'm talking about when the environment is safe why will, you won't be afraid that is just like giving your child to your parent to the only people you trust are your parents to take care of. And I still call on every Ghanaian living in Nigeria precisely. If you are a Ghanaian and you are seeing my videos, but you live in Nigeria and you're not thinking about the education of your children, I want you to know that you can come back home and take advantage of this. Because in future, these kids who want to come back to Ghana, they are, not go they are going to struggle because it's not the same. This is actual education in practical. Please let them benefit from it so they can make friends with their kinsmen. They can make friends with their fellow Ghanaians so that they can build relationships that will last them a lifetime. Let's go back to the school and I will be back. Let's go. Natasha Embel, this is your oath of office. Kindly say these words after me, solemnly. I, I, Natasha Embel, on this day, on this day, 30th May 2023, 30th May 2023, do solemnly swear that, do
do solemnly swear that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the head girl. I will faithfully discharge the duties of a head girl. Of a Hunterman girl senior high school. Of a Hunterman girl senior high school. Without fear Without or favor. Without fear or favor. a strong signal to the qualified schools in fact wait and watch yes. because we are coming with four men no bagger wire and nobody should dare try because we are coming like Kakai. they should prepare adequately because we are coming in a very grand start In fact, next year will be the 70th anniversary of the school, and we want to have this cup with us in our celebration. It is with us and it's for us. So they should just stay there, gay, hey, agree. They are just small for us because we have a team. All the qualifying schools who wait for Antoman, we are coming, and we are coming with full vim. I know T I M S is coming back, Reggae is coming, but we want to show them that we are the queens. <laughs> to take the trophy so watch out we are warriors and we fight AC Saki called that the students call me AC Shata this is the biggest when I was doing fundraising for a school in my village I told them one thing that child that you ignore today because you are making sacrifices to see your own child to school to do everything for your children but the parent of the other child is doing nothing some of them is not out of ignorance alone is out of the fact that they do not have and truly they do not have and i told people you have to donate not for these kids but you're doing it for your own children because tomorrow if these children are engaged, if these children are educated, if these children are grounded, if these children are self-aware, they won't commit crime. But if they can eat, if they are not okay, if they are not educated, if they have nothing, your own children will have to be careful. And they get, they get what I'm talking about. So a country that sends all her citizens to school is a country that wants to take over the world. And Ghana is about to take over the world. Come back in 20 years 30 years to Ghana and see. I don't think we'll have any illiterates in Ghana. There will be none. Except, of course, as a mother, as a parent, you intentionally don't want your kids. You intentionally stop your child from acquiring education because I don't see anything stopping you. With the way the government is going, it's just a matter of time. There will be no illiterate again and the country will be peaceful very 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 peaceful it will be a lot peaceful than now this is what i'm talking about justice and fairness justice and fairness and i'm all out for this and this is why i love these videos and i'll keep on doing them i hope that you enjoyed this one and that i will see you in my next one bye